It's time to jet and get out of Dalit. But we're gonna do it in style, you feel me? Yeah. Why have that spinning disc on the ground? Is that really... Does that have a use? Can't they just, like, do a 90 degree turn? Like, back out? Alright. Yeah! Woo! I'm feeling dangerous. Go on the train tracks. Woo! This is fun! Okay, here we are. Can't get in that forest. It's been made out of steel. Uh, how do I get out? Uh oh. <laughs> okay, we're out. Now we'll see a scene as we enter the forest here. it is. You're a dummy. Of course they will. Stop. Oh, I'm going to hear it from her. Everyone's always... Whatever. Whatever. Whatever, lady. I think you're dumb. Amen. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> See? Oh man, we're gonna go into The Shining again. Red Rob. Red Rob. So, what I don't understand is why Quistus falls asleep. I mean, because Selfie goes again, right? But Zell doesn't. It doesn't make any sense because... The Quistus, like, that's the only time she... I don't know, there might be another time. But I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be Selfie, Zell, and Squall. So it's weird. <laughs> nope, I need the place. the wrong map yeah bad feeling yeah a bad feeling the unfamiliar always happens yeah that's how it goes Well, I picked the right characters to be using because uh, the junction's transferred over. Oh, wait. Do I have the uh, no encounter? That'll be important. Good. Now. Got a couple soldier battles to deal with in this place here. What's this? Sleep. Rocks. The fairies. Oh, well, later they start referencing the other party as fairies. The dream party. It 
to conception. With fairies. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, listen to this battle theme. I'll shut up. Oh my god, this song. Are you kidding me? Are you listening to it? I, I know we're getting cut up by this guy, but... I don't want it to end. Wait, wait, here it comes, here it comes. Boo! Oh my god, I better, better kill him. Sorry. <sighs> Best battle team? I think so. I think so. I wish that would play all the time. Why do they save the awesome theme for the the people that you barely play? Like, man. So, break missed? When did I... Hmm. That's probably getting annoying, I should stop. I'm sorry. Is that all of them? Yep, let's run. Take the left path. I remember this place pretty well. Holy shit, where am I? I maybe I don't remember this place. Did I do it the right path? I think I'm supposed to go this way. Confuse. Here, you can have some confuse. I don't want them. What's over here? Nothing. Okay, let's take the ladder down. I gotta pick up some keys. Nope. Why'd you go back up, fool? I'm holding down! Yep, here we go, yep. <laughs> go back down again. Holding down. Key number one. Old key. I feel a draft on my butt. <laughs> There's a hole in my back pocket. Well, that's what you get for putting keys in your back pocket, loser. Ah, can't find it. Nothing cheaper than something free. <laughs> yep.
Alright, we need to uh, tamper with this. How do we do it? It's not working. There you go. It's very important that you... <laughs> His sayings are really bad. Uh, it's very important that you open all three of these latches. Because you come back here much later and you get some cool items inside the hatches. I really am a genius. Those who don't try will never know. Tamper with it. There we go. Now we gotta... Boom! <laughs> we gotta go back and uh, do the right one now. Not that I would say something about it. Pick it up! Or, you know, do the... Guys! Get off! Get off the damn thing. Ah, well. It doesn't do anything right now, but... We have to do that to get the item, so... Should be a... There you go. Key number two. Ah! Uh... It's in my shirt pocket. A chew. No. Butterfingers. So it's very important you pick those keys up also because it dictates the items you find here later. Ah. Okay, where am I going here? Am I going right or up? All right. Hey, hey, no! God damn it! Get... They're having a seizure on the ladder. I can't stand this. You gotta hold up. See, but you don't know when you're you're done with the ladder, right? So we gotta go back now and do the left hatch, which is fun. Hold down, all the way down. Doesn't matter what you're looking at. Down. Go ahead. There we go. Ladder climbing 101. <sighs> now. Tamper it. There we go. It's already a dead end. You still want to close the path that we just took? <laughs> Perfect timing, I guess. Uh, since this lever is also loose, I just thought we'd leave it alone. Alright. Excellent. Now, we gotta go all the way back again. Back to uh, where we got the second key, I think. Did you... I'm holding up! What do you want from me? What do you want? <laughs> I can do more, uh, no more than this. Like, I'm holding up. It, oh, he, he decided he didn't want to go for a minute. You see that? 
Jesus. Laguna. Can't even climb ladders. Alright. Back to the right. Again. What? What are you? You. Oh. He climbs it automatically. Can I just hit a button and have you go down the ladder? Can't this be Resident Evil? Dunk. Dunk. That would work. His leg cramped up. Too much walking. Alright, well... From here, I think we go up now. Because where the key was. Yep. So go up. We gotta mess with some detonators. See this rock here that's gonna play a role in uh, our detonation thing. I think this is it. Red switch. The short blue f fuse is for that boulder. The long red fuse is for the boulder further down. The detonator is right here, so as long as you stay behind it, it'll be fine. Alright, so here's the trick. Hit the red one first. Bomb blast won't reach us here. <laughs> oh shit! There goes a little tiny rock. <laughs> Big explosion, little rock. Well, I guess it ain't that tiny. It certainly looked small. How'd it get so big? Snowballing? Oh, it opened up the uh, the door that I loosened there. All right. Time for boulder number two. It's blue fuse, so. It's gonna blow! <laughs> Little poot. It's like... Run! Run! Now they're all open. <laughs> I think there's a draw point. I don't know what it is. Don't I have move find on? Huh. Yeah, I guess there isn't a draw point. I thought there would be right there. Maybe it's another screen. Well, it doesn't matter. It's probably something dumb. So, moving on. We're pretty much done now. A couple screens. Here we are. Save the game.
the cool part about doing all that stuff before going to the end is you have less battles to fight at the end here. But now we only have one battle. And it is one of those uh, battles that you cannot break them. They are storyline enemies. Normally you'd have to fight like five battles or something if you didn't do any of that stuff. See, there's the nasty one, the one in black. He's nasty! But just to demonstrate, I will show you. The breaker does not work. Oh, it's attack. He's gonna throw his giant anchor. And Laguna has a machine gun, which is totally cool. I gotta say. We're kinda weak because we don't have anything junctioned to our strength. But that's okay. Anchor! There we go. No experience. This is the battle where... It's not really a battle. You just get cut up. Yeah, this battle doesn't finish, so... Pretty sure. It's where we would fight two. I thought we only fought one. Are in our ass, man. Anchor. How oh, you got a shotgun on your pickaxe, man? That's some of those dead space mining tools. It's a mining tool, this machine gun. Sure it is. Mining be done with that machine gun. This is a mining chainsaw! No, just kidding. Just kidding. Come on, where's the special move? There we go. Soul Crush. And that's that. Did your grandmother tell you that? Come on. Of course she did. Gara. Okay, so <laughs> Ward lost his voice. You know, I guess that was like the ultimate laryngitis blow. Coochie coochie treatment. Yeah. Chuck him off a cliff. That's all right. Oh, what? You're injured? See ya. Okay, sure. I've guts. You know how high this cliff is? He's going to take the, the baby way down. Whoa! And that, my friends, is that.
just ignore the weird issue with this. Just, eh. Clairvoyance. When he says forget about it, he's saying it in his mind because of the parentheses. So he didn't say forget about it to her, so he just did some weird hand insignia thing. Now, Galbadia Garden. This is the place. This is living. Right away, it's like more of a strict, like militant style. Music's all serious. There's one thing we have to do here. Hey, what's going on, guys? See you later, bitch. I'm on a robot. <laughs> Fucking with the tacos, dude. Hey, man, where you get? Where you guys going? <laughs> Initiate fly mode. <sighs> what the fuck? Why don't we get robots? Why don't we? <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> the fuck, man. I want robots. We can't even have a hoverboard. Damn. What's up, baby? Okay. Sorceress, up until now, I've only seen her in textbooks. Oh, that's right, she's a political figure now. Nobody thinks this is weird? Like, uh oh. Sorceress. Wow, completely different. <laughs> what do you mean? The gates look exactly the same. She was quiet. I like it. <laughs> that's squall. There's one guy we can play cards with, so... I feel bad leaving you here. But see ya. <laughs> I like Rhino. Let's save our game right here. Like this, like this, right there, like this. Okay. And they're gonna keep nagging you um, about the reception. So let's just go do that now. Get that story stuff over with. Oh, you know what? I should have not put Zell in the party, because then you could see him do push-ups. We got some card playing to do. After we're done with this, in this garden. But first, we gotta abolish rules. So, of course... Now we have two places to travel from. We can travel from Galbadia to Dalit and back. Which will help us remove rules, but at some point we're going to have to go to, back to Timber and go to Dealing City as well. Yeah, sure they understood it. They're working for the Sorceress, man. Sentence has been carried out. <gasps> Straighten out my headset.
No, it wasn't. Let's talk about Cypher, everybody, guys. I really liked him. He was confident and smart. I could take on the world. Your boyfriend. Look, just because he slept with you one summer camp or whatever. Come on. It was last summer. 37 dicks. I can't move your. Ugh. I want to talk to some people. Zell. Selfie. He's one of us, man. I want to get revenge. Revenge, you never get revenge. <laughs> I don't have any good memories of him. He was beyond troubled. What do you mean he wasn't a bad guy? Squall's about to have a fit. Will they talk about me this way if I die? Using past tense? This is what death is about. Not for me. I won't have it! Oh, it's well. I won't have it. <laughs> Are you mad? <laughs> uh, I'm not having anyone talk about me in the past tense. Hey, wait, buddy. Uh, forget it. Squall's having one of his emotional fits again. Oh, shit. What's up, man? I don't. Okay. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! Holy shit, he was... <laughs> I knocked him out of the wheelchair! <laughs> That's a cool wheelchair, bro. <laughs> I want one of them. <laughs> oh, there's Zell. He is doing push-ups. Zell. Ah! Ah! That's what I... When I do push-ups. He's doing like very much a, a tricep style of a push-up. You can mess up the count. <laughs> One good thing about push-ups, bruh. Damn. Damn. You don't need to do push-ups to do that. Piece of cake. 28, 29, 30. 30, 31, 32. Don't make me lose count. 35, 36, 37. You're counting twice. Come on, man. Don't miss count. Don't lose it. Oh, you're getting so close to 100. He's not going to ever lose count, is he? These guys suck. Oh, it's Rajan. Look at him. Fusion of Rajan. I'm a messenger, you know. Brought you a new order from Headmaster Sir, you know. I don't know. You know? <laughs> She's got an eye patch. Explain! Trains to stop, so I had no other choice but to come here. Cypher! <laughs> I believe Cypher may be dead. Lies! Find. Look, we know he wasn't executed because he went away with to Sorcerer's Land. 
through a portal. Alright. See, so they're not that bad. Meet at the front gate. Well, I guess we'll go do that then. But we definitely have to come back in here to get uh, these level 6 cards. And also some rules. Gotta change some rules. Calbadia rules. Oh, it's the matter, Zell. You don't want to crouch down and feel yourself. Just pretend I'm a C2. It'll be less complicated. Well, I, that won't be a problem because none of us have a uniform. We all dress like crazy people. So. Our wheels are. Damn, we got spinners. They're still spinning. That's cool. I don't know how to do this hand signal. Martin. Mm hmm. At ease. Yep. It's just a cover up. No peace talks, only threats. Sorceress creates fear among people. Peace talks are impossible. So, time to kill the bitch. We have very few options available to us. We trust world peace and the future to you. Well, that's terrible. No pressure. Sorceress, Edia, and uh, Zombie Dealing. That's going to be the card for their political campaign. Let me introduce the elite sharpshooter. Michael Jackson with the cowboy hat. Duster. Who's bad? Come on, see? I didn't lie. Failure is not an option. Bang! Oh man, he's a rebel. So. Looks like I'm with you rubes. <laughs> Greetings. <laughs> There's Zell charging up a command man. Shouldn't put them together with Zell. <laughs> oh, well, I got a news flash for you, Zell. Oh, what? I don't want to leave. I thought it was going to prompt me, like, oh, what shall we do now? Nope, Squall's going out on his own. He don't care. Look at this. I'm all alone. There's no point in that. So let's go back. I have this bottle of water, and it's a complete ice cube, basically. It's made out of ice at this point. Alright. Our next mission. No ordinary mission. We are to assassinate the sorceress. Shoot her from afar. Irvine's the sharpshooter. We are supporting him to the fullest. Mm -hmm. We will attack head-on, should the sniper fail. 
I never miss my target. Hee <laughs> hee! Alright. We gotta go to dealing. Are we going to dealing right now? Oh, so we can... get rules from timber and dealing and all that stuff. I like to watch Irvine pick the party. This is funny. Me and the ladies, bro! That's no good, man. That's no good. He's got a thing for selfies, so we can't have them together. Lord knows what'll happen. But, you can stay with Zell, my friend. There! What? <laughs> you serious? I balanced out the party. <laughs> you want me to take care of this guy? Teach you some seed manners. Catch you later, alligator. Boy. <laughs> That's right. That's right, Squall. Face to the palm. Oh, use the switch member. Come on, I'm not stupid. I'm not stupid. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. We ready. We gotta go to Dealing City, we gotta go to Timber, we gotta go here, and we gotta go to Dalit. Over and over again to remove some rules. First thing we're gonna do is go back up into here. And we need to challenge some kids to a card game. So, there's actually two different regions you can challenge within this one garden. Okay? The first is uh, Gal Galbadi itself. The second is Trabia. Trabia is another garden which you'll go to later. And Trabia... He's like an exchange student. That's like the excuse they get, right? So... Alright. We're going to go out of our way to remove a couple Trabia rules. To do this first, we challenge this Galbadian student until we get the prompt that we want, which is want to play cards. None of that mixing stuff beforehand. That means you're still using two rule sets. You just want to be using the Galbadia rule set, which is open and same. So, now that we have that, we're going to go to the locker room by the ice rink, talk to the Trabia exchange student, engage in card battle. And the purpose of this is actually to spread open throughout the Trabia region. And open's really easy to spread, so it shouldn't be a problem. Ultimately, we want to remove random and plus from Trabia. This is the first step. Okay, so now that open is spread throughout the region, we're going to go back to that Galbadian student and do the same thing all over again to get her to stop trying to mix rules. Because that is, once again, how you adapt a rule set. There we go. Now oh, that's done. Back to the save point we go. Gonna jog on back to the main lobby. It's a little tedious, but it's, it really doesn't take that long. And I kind of want to show you that... Uh, the unedited sequence of events. Just in case you want to do this. So, hard reset after you save it. Hard reset means you can look, see this PlayStation logo. If you can't, that means you did a soft reset. So load your save up. And run back to the ice rink and the Trabia Exchange student. Now that we're here, we have to challenge him to a game twice. So, we go into the game the first time, as normal, 
and then quit. We quit out. Nothing's going to happen here. It's normal. Sometimes nothing changes at all. So we challenge him the second time to a card game. And once again, we're going to quit out. With any luck. Uh, no, no luck, actually. This is 100% guaranteed. Uh, the random number generator works as such. So the random rule is abolished. We can rejoice. So the hard part's out of the way, but we still want to remove plus because we don't like math. Fuck that. <laughs> to be honest, the same and plus are both really fun rules, but uh, for the card collector, it, it gets annoying. So once again, back to the Gullbodian student and keep denying until she doesn't offer to mix the rules. That means that you've taken in their rule set. Right, because even the open is spread in Trabia, you still have same. Same has not yet spread, and since you have a rule that is different than Trabia's rule set, we're still able to mix rules. So anyways, that's done with. We're going to go back to the save point yet again. We're going to save our game, and we're going to hard reset. On the PS3, you can do it by hitting the PlayStation button and then selecting reset. But if you're on a PS2, you got to just power the whole thing down and power it up. Okay. PlayStation logo. Consistency. Very important. If you don't hard reset, what's going to happen? By doing the soft reset, you're hitting L1, L2, R1, R2, select start. And that keeps the random number generator on the number it was at when you reset it. It doesn't reset the entire RNG series. So both are useful for certain things, but we want to do hard resets for this. Now that we're back in the locker room, we're going to approach the draw point, but not draw. We're going to do this 17 times. This sounds really stupid. It, it, it sounds like some sort of a fable. Like, it doesn't... It's a fib. It, it, it's bullshit, right? It sounds like it. But no, 17 times. You approach this draw point, and then you say, don't draw. It's riveting material. I know. Look at that guy jamming on his headphones, sitting on the bench like, Yeah, I'm from Trabia, I don't give a fuck. Well, guess what? All of Trabia's card game rule set hangs in the balance. I don't know why you were entrusted with <laughs> the card game rules, but we're going to challenge him once and quit out, just as we did. And lo and behold, the gods have smiled upon us. Plus has been abolished. So now they just have open. So let's do a dance. And get paid! And get paid, baby! Woo! I've taken the liberty of getting all the level 6 boss cards. Which you can get from the girl in the classroom of Galbadia Garden. See? Here we are. Some of them are harder to get than others. Like, I, it took me forever to get Fusion and Rajan. That was the last one. And some of them I got a bunch of. So... Now we have all the cards, with the exception of Poo Poo, up to level 6. We still have the level 7 boss cards, which I think are Fisherman's Horizon Territory. And then 8, 9, 10 are all special. So, upward and onward we go. It also goes without saying that I did abolish some rules from uh, territories for their card game. I think at this point you kind of understand what it is that you do. And uh, if you want to do it yourself, you can just look up a, a fact online or something. They'll tell you, tell you more specifics. Because I really can't tell you everything about RNG and all this stuff. It's... It's needlessly complicated. This is not a tutorial. It's just me playing through in the way that I choose to play through the game. So, You guys want to stop by the usual? No. I want to go to D-Link City. So that's what we're going to do. Ah, yes. The train again. Squalls wisened up. 
opening the door immediately. You caught on. What did it say? Let him be? That's a girl. Huh? Wait a minute. Is selfie a trap? Let him be? <laughs> well, I'm out here. Oh, just kidding. Here comes Zell. Pissed at the world some more. That purple shirt really goes with the duster, man. It's great. Just color coordination. Awesome. This is the only train bound for Dealing City. Random gestures. Perhaps it's fate. So he's gonna go try and get his game on uh, with. <laughs> what do we do about him? What do you gotta say about it, though? I don't want that Irvine guy using the guest room. Don't open it for him. He's gonna go get his Mac on with selfie. Huh. <sighs> Baby, we're destined to be together. Look at this purple shirt. Pardon me. What a douche. A douche nozzle. My heart's pounding. What is this I'm feeling? It's an important mission. Get used to handling pressure. Oh, squall. Well. Nope. I don't, I'll never know what she said. Sorry. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Ranoa, baby! <laughs> You're playing a major role in this mission. Now behave yourself. What are you, was he frisking all the ladies? No one understands me. Sharpshooters are loners by nature. We own our instincts, pour our whole being into a single bullet. An instant of tension. That's what I have to face alone. It's not easy. So like, just do me a favor and let me be. You get my drift? Oh, punch the ground. Oh shit, he broke the train. There was no damage to the train from that, or... I like how he repeats himself with the errs. He's a man of his word. So now, finally we move to dealing. I thought the trains weren't running. But this one, I guess. Kind of weird. Alright. Now, there's a bunch of trains going to different places, and yet you can't go to any of them. They'll tell you if you try to. Got some funky music for Dealing City. And escalators. That's an impressive escalator. It's got, like, a flat surface in the middle. Then more... Downward stairs. Does that actually work? Does that exist? What would be the purpose of it? Oh shit, Batman! <laughs> Where is she? Okay. I fucking threw at the bat signal. Don't blow our cover. Laguna here now. Yeah, oh yeah, this is the uh, city Laguna was hanging out and looking at Piano Lady. So. 
Lots of stuff to do here. Uh, there is another card player from Fisherman's Horizon. So you get the Galbadian rule set here, and you also get the Fisherman Horizon rule set. Just like we got the Trabiac stage sooner earlier. It's kind of similar to that. FH doesn't have serious rules, though. It's got like sudden death, which means no draws. And it's got um, elemental, I think. So here she is. Lady in the green dead, green dress. So this is the famous uh, Galbadia Hotel. Yeah, so we have open and same from uh, Galbadia, and they have sudden death elemental. We're not gonna play right now. I'll abolish these rules uh, soon. Whoops, I didn't mean to spread that. Whatever. Like I said, it's wise not to spread open, but... <sighs> oh, that's right, there's a man right here. Uh, and he has the Key Rose card. Remember, the Queen of Cards said, oh, I made a Key Rose card somewhere in Dealing. Well, that's where it is, it's that guy in the black. He has the key rose card. He plays it once a century. It's kind of... Now, here's the Carway Mansion. Something interesting about General Carway, you'll find out. But not right now. First we have to talk to this guy. And he's gonna be like, I can't let you walk in. Uh, we have to perform the ceremonial hazing to you. Test your skills. Go to the Tomb of the Unknown King. Real simple. Bring back proof that you were there, a code number. There was a student from Galbadia Garden yesterday who has yet to return. Great. Go to the Tomb of Unknown King, look for traces of his lost student, return with ID number. Well, we're gonna go all the way, baby. He gives you the shitty map, right? And this map has no location marker, so. We're going to buy a location displayer for 5000 Great. That's it. Oh, you know what's funny? <laughs> I think the number <laughs> in question has everything to do with like the amount of battles that uh, you've... Damn it. I don't quite remember, but... The last time I did it, it was 001. And I thought that was pretty funny. I'm gonna go save it before I do this uh, card stuff. We're gonna abolish a couple rules in Galbadia and Fisherman's Horizon. Okay, now that we've abolished rules for FH, Dalit, Galbadia, Trabia, we're finally ready to challenge this food card game. And we're gonna try and get key rows from him, if you recall. The Queen of Cards said Kiros is somewhere in Dalit. And lo and behold, this dude in black is the one with the Kiros card. So, there it is. Now, these new cards that are created, sometimes they're really hard to even see. Even if you're playing the right guy, they might not play it for a long time. But we're relatively early going right now, so. Just play a damn card. You're you're an AI. You're an AI opponent. You know what you're gonna do. Play the card. I've never seen someone calculate this long when you're a computer. Come on. That's like if you put something into the calculator application and it decided it was gonna take four years to do two plus two. You know, it's, it just doesn't make sense. Now we have key rows couple more cards we can get, uh, specifically Minotaur and Sacred, and those are coming up next. I should note that, let's just go back into a card game really quick, just to show you. You cannot abolish a rule if there is only one rule. So their only rule right now is open. If I wanted to abolish that, it wouldn't work. You can't do it, right? So when you're mixing rules, 
if they only have one rule on the side you're trying to abolish, it isn't going to work. Instead, you'll probably spread a rule, right? So just keep that in mind. Also, when abolishing rules, make sure you do it kind of evenly across the region. So right now I got Dalit, Trabia, Galbadia, Fisherman's Horizon, and I kind of jumped between all of them to abolish them, except for Trabia, which there's a specific method. But other than that, I jumped between all of them to make sure that I could remove most of the rules. The only one I think that has more than one rule right now is Fisherman's Horizon, which has Sudden Death, which is, you know, whatever, it's nothing. So, did we already buy a location to splurge? Yeah, okay. Alright, he's going to escort us out of town, because I get a little bit lost in Dealing City. And we're going to go to the Tomb of the Unknown King. I like how it's kind of dark over by the city with the stars and stuff. But then when you get further away from it, all of a sudden, daytime. Tomb's way over here. We have encountered none, so nothing to worry about. Whee! Alright. Let's do a save. Now let's get in there. Uh, we're probably going to have to do like one more grinding session, which might happen today. I don't know. There's some... F float! I'm trying to tip you off and say, use float! And I'm like, I don't care. My magic's probably getting pretty stocked up. I might have to remove some nonsense. We don't really care about float right now because they're going to be pushovers. You know, the the enemies in here are going to pushovers. Doesn't matter if we have float. In fact, let's junction some strength stuff. Tornado gives you 65. It gives you 57, so that's good. Alright. Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll also throw on some strength buff. You don't have any strength buffs, so. Right. More quakes. Oh, you don't have anything. Oh, well. Whatever. What'd they say? Triangles map? Wait, no. Selects map. There. All you want to do is hug the wall in this area. Whenever you can, you want to turn right. Okay, let's check out the number. 182. Okay. Well. I was not correct. But it's really crazy. The last time... I looked at the number, it was 001. I figured, like, it would had to be something I've done. But, I don't know. Maybe I did something different. Hmm. Just keep hanging right. See, we don't really need the location thing on the map, but... Spending money. You know, who cares? We all have draw, right? They might have, like, a couple spells we can get, so... Alright, so, this is our buddy Minotaur. Well, that's sacred, right? My bad. So, I think he has life, protect, and shell.
Maybe you've noticed, maybe you haven't, but he gets healed every so often, and it, it might be unclear why, but it's because he's touching the ground. Because they're Earth Element, what happens is he gets healed periodically. So you're supposed to cast Float on these bosses to stop the healing, but you'll see that it really doesn't matter. So... Wait a minute. Vibration's not on. There you go. Twenty apps. Oh, I wonder if I'm learning anything good. There's a save point there. What's wrong with my analog? That's weird. Why did it turn to a... Uh... It just did it on its own. I don't know. Alright. Anyways. You're learning Magic 20. And you're called you here to learn nothing, so... Let's go! I'm deciding if I'm going to grind after I get the brothers or after I get Carbuncle. But there's really not a lot of grinding you can do after you get Carbuncle because... Yeah, there's stuff that happens that's unavoidable. You have to do it. But I keep forgetting that map is this button. Alright. So we just continue to go right all the way around the perimeter of this entire place. We'll reach a sluice gate thing, mechanism that opens it up. Sluice gate. Sluice gate key. What's that from? Final Fantasy 12. That's what that's from. Another great game. Alright, so. Got a hidden draw point here. Float. You can draw floats from some people on the. or some monsters on the uh, world map right outside. Though. Not that useful. I have to pick and choose now. That protect shell and life, that's like the last uh, forcing myself to grind magic out. Because those are pretty fundamental. And we do have more people on our party now, so we can always offhand the spells we don't want to them. Keep on going right. I think this is like something else lowers the gate. Oh yeah, there's another save point right here. There's another hidden one. Cura. I, had, I was missing two, so cool. Cura is pretty good because you don't want to use Kiraga because it's junctioned. You know, so your mid-level healing actually useful because you can use it in a pinch. Now we go straight. Go straight again. I'm not sure where I am. <laughs> okay. From here, back up. Keep in mind that the camera position will change. So instead of going right, actually I have to go left now to wrap around this inner coil. Now I have to go left again. These would be rights, or the first one would be a right, and then a left. <laughs> this is hard to, to speak of. Point is... Oh, what? Did I not hit a switch? <gasps> oh, I didn't hit the switch. I can't believe it. Now we're mind fucked. Not really. Not really. I I went to that area and didn't do anything.
trait. Okay. Let's try that again. There's a little button here. Well. There we go. Now it's spinning. Lowers the drawbridge or whatnot. Okay, from there. We exit, we go straight. We go straight again. It's two straights. We go right. We go left. And we're going to go left again. Okay, that's three lefts. And that leaves you right there. We go inside. Fight some more baddies, or, you know, goodies, or whatever they are. They're not really bad. Yo, you back again? Took it easy on you last time, but my big bro's with me. Bro! Make him all menacing. And then he's like, I'm tiny. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Yo, bro. Guys crashed the tomb. Not bad for a human. The older brother is so cute. <laughs> Foolish humans. Don't judge a book by its cover. Feel my power. He's actually really a joke. Though in the context of uh, these two brothers, he's the stronger. But he's still a joke. They will be healed. Oh, they also use, I believe... Oh, he's got doubles. That's interesting. Hmm. Well, it doesn't matter. Minotaur goes down. Are you kidding me? The vibration turned off again. I think this controller's out to get me. He gets healed more. Floats would be good here, but... He's probably going down right here. Well, not there. 38, that's not gonna do it. The rest is up to you, bro. You mad, bro? Well, I guess we'll join you. Beat my ass. Is that how gangs work? Are we a gang? So we got Sacred's card. We do not have Minotaur's card, but we're about to get it. So. I, could re I really want to name these guys Bras, but... Resist the urge. Bass. <laughs> oh man, the spirit. I'm now free from this cramped coffin. Here, take a card. I don't know why I've been holding on to it in this coffin, but we're good, bro. We got some cards. They're pretty good cards. They're good for the corner pieces uh, of your triple triad board, which that's the card game name. You could go the whole game and not know the name of the card game. It says that on the board, but, I mean, really, who cares? I remember when Final Fantasy IX came out and they were like, oh, we got a card game again, it's back. And you're like, this is not the same at all. And then they even put in a Final Fantasy XI, Tetra Master, I think. I I played it. I never understood it. I'm like, how am I flipping cards? What's going on? 